Hello YouTube, today I'm going to show you how to use my SQL database on command line and we are also going to look how to connect the database uh, through command line CMD after that we are going to create a, a, a database through command line uh, when you install ZAM uh, this program here it's normally create the bin folder that bin folder has uh, my SQL database uh, to demonst demonstrate that we should go to the bin folder by clicking computer then C drive on the C drive we go to ZAM from ZAM we go to my S square and for my S square we go to bin folder and here is my SQL database uh, program so uh, through the command line CMD we have to click and write CMD and change to that bin directory which is CD backslash then CD uh, ZAM and we we can check what is inside ZAM folder by typing dir as a directory and these all files or folders are inside ZAM and from ZAM we are going to uh, to my SQL folder so type cd my SQL and dir then we check what inside my my SQL folder and uh, we can see there is bin here then we change again change directly to bin and inside bin we can check what's inside bin and uh, so there are a lot of files that ends with exe extension but we are interested on my SQL exe so now we need to connect to database so we type my SQL uh, user by default root then password host host you have two options either you can type 127.0.0.1 which is perfectly fine or you could type localhost for my case I'm going to use localhost then you press enter and it just prompts you to type a password for my case I don't have password so enter again but I, I don't remember the password so I have to check from the start the ZAM control panel and we have Apache and MySQL so we start all Apache server and and MySQL from there you go to the browser then you type uh, localhost type here localhost localhost and we can access to our ZAM server and you go to PHP my admin on PHP my admin you you can see these are all my database the list of my database are here I have a couple of number of databases but I'm not interested to this database I'm just I just want to use uh, CMD control to users here on users it seems uh, on any localhost password no all priv privilege now I thought that I have set the password and the way you set the password is here you give you can uncheck you remove all this privilege from users or you can you could just give all privilege to select to insert update delete create out grant this for administration this structure and data 
down here you have password so you type no password then go okay now if we try again come back here and we execute the same command now it has just go through and uh, as we already connect to the database first we need to look this database here I will show you through this command line so just type show databases and same column same column this is very important to remember that you should always put same column then enter and these are the list of database I have and what I'm going to do now is to create a database, a new database. So just type create database name users. Or let's give it um, uh, uh, maybe shop database. And remember to put same column. If you don't put same column, this is what will happen. That's what will happen. So if you type semicolon then it execute the command so query ok one row affected so we can now say show that database or the name of database which is shop and we tap semicolon and uh, you have an error mask syntax check a manual that correspond to okay yeah, I think that was a, a wrong command not show shop it should be use shop shop and that has change, changed it means it has changed to shop if you will type show tables empty set which means we don't have any database any tables inside our shop database uh, next tutorial we are going to talk about how to create tables and uh, please guys subscribe and click like